Sup world, my name is Bogdan and that's one is Zenfone Max M2, a new and expensive smartphone from Asus. How welcome is this new kid in town and what secrets has he taken alone? This is the topic of our review. So let's light it up! From the outer look, the smartphone strongly resembles the past generation of Max series. The back, for example, is blankly the same as Pro M1 model has. However, the new one is notably thinner. The phone obtained large metal plate laid on a plastic base. On the front panel you will find a tempered glass. What's new is the notch on the top of the screen, which is extremely trendy by the standards of 2018, so in principle it is not surprising. In addition to the selfie camera, proximity and lighting sensors in pair with the front-facing speaker, there is also an LED with a number of colors for specific indications. My thumbs up for that. Also from the pleasant body things is a great card drawer. Here you can immediately put two nano SIM and a memory card, which is very cool. But there's something hurting the experience. We didn't find an FC here. I don't know how to explain that fact. Maybe you can help me out in comments. Device has a fingerprint reader. It is not number one in speed, but stable enough. In addition, there's face recognition, which works just okay and shares the same speed position as finger scanner. Among pros and cons of the body, I will highlight mini jack and micro USB. Guess what stands for cons here? Exactly, the absence of Type C. Why don't we say hi to the screen? Zenfone Max M2 uses 6.3 inch IPS LCD with HD plus resolution. Graining on the working distance is not bothering at all. The colors are pleasant without oversaturation. Or burnt shades. Besides, it supports 10-point multi-touch. In total, the display is decent and comfortable to use. The viewing angles are adequate and the screen is easy to read even upon critical distortions from viewers' eyes. The brightness range is a bit sad as its lowest spot could give us more dimming pictures, however the highest one is among all sorts of good stuff. The sound through headphones is crispy enough and doesn't provoke thoughts about fixing any of standard frequency levels. The sound is not boring and totally more than detailed. If you combine maximum too with some cool headphones, I think this kit will pleasantly surprise you. Although the multimedia speaker doesn't claim to be a competitor for 5 to 1 audio systems, it definitely copes with its main task. You will not miss an incoming call even in a noisy place. I would recommend watching movies with headphones because here details are not the best in the world. Smartphone cameras are modules for 13 and 2 megapixels in the main set and 8 megapixels for a selfie. In order not to waste anybody's time, let me say in brief, cameras are not shameful but do not search for something more. The stubborn ones will get photo masterpieces, but mark my words, that won't be easy to accomplish. Regarding video capturing, the smartphone will give you a hand in fulfilling your personal storage with 4K clips. In total, I'm pretty much happy about the outcoming videos. Speaking about hardware, inside Max M2 there is Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 chipset with 8 core processor and Adreno 506 for graphics, 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Keep in mind that the smartphone also got more advanced version with 4 and 64 4 gigs accordingly for RAM and storage. Everyday tasks on low demand in games are a child's play for our guy. You can also run heavy games, but of course with reduced graphics. For example, smooth gaming in World Tanks Blitz will require medium settings and low one for PUBG Mobile. Now get your mouse ready for a pause button as here are results of benchmark tests for performance. And here comes some for battery. By the way, the latter one plays not the last role in smartphone's body dimensions, as the last one is 4000 mAh that will boldly grant you two days of battery life. But don't get so cocky in games and camera, as these two days will start losing their minutes almost for every count of second before the new year. Let's jump into the software world. A solid ROM card of our device is a pure Android 810. The preset skin has no excess garbage, it's easy to understand and friendly to manage. If you are already had enough of all these customizable skins with semi-cartoon design and you just want a pure stock, Maxim 2 is one of many who offers such brilliant decision. Results. How ideal is Zenfone Max M2? Not ideal at all. For instance, many people will vote against due to absence of NFC, but the novelty has got a few tricks up its sleeves. A pleasant price of about 200 bucks, a good screen, nice performance, mini jack and a fierce battery life and all this stuff is secured by pure Android, which I think is already something to have desire for. Would I recommend to hit the market willing to order Zenfone Max M2? Definitely yes, especially if you keep your pocket far away from Xiaomi devices. As always, Let's get ready for links to buy this guy in the description box below. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching, happy Christmas holidays and cheers!